Welcome to Kaluji Tech Time. I'm David, and this is DJI Mavic Air firmware update version 01.00.0300. We have all the details, so stick around. All right, Mavic Air fans, today is firmware update day. It is the 22nd of March, 2018, and DJI has just released a new update for the firmware of Mavic Air. It is version 01.00.0300. They've updated several items that are going to be related to the picture and video quality, and a couple that are safety, and then a couple of other issues as well. So let's dive right in and talk about what they have in store for us. Okay, so first off, let's talk about some of the safety items or potential safety items. The first one let's talk about is uh, fixed an issue where the aircraft would fail to decelerate automatically during landing. Now, of course, that sounds like that could be a potential safety issue for the aircraft. If it's not decelerating, it could run into something or something, so it could be a personal safety issue. So that sounds like something that uh, probably is worthwhile for installing just because of the safety issue there. Now, a couple of others that are a little bit more on the edge of being called safety issues is that they have increased the speed of the descent in forward flying mode, not necessarily backwards or just straight down, to three meters per second while in sport mode. Now, I consider that kind of a safety issue because you may be in a situation where you need to get down fast now. Maybe there's an aircraft in the area, maybe your battery's low, maybe the wind is picking up, weather's picking up. So it's a safety issue in terms of if you need to get down, you need to get down now. And so the faster you can do that under control, the better it is. So there's this phenomenon in rotored aircraft when you descend straight down into your own air column, it can destabilize the aircraft. And so I think that's why they have made this increase in speed when it's in forward mode only and not just when it's sitting still and going down. So that's something to keep in mind is if you're in a hurry to get down, sport mode and need to be flying forward while doing so. And that keeps you out of your own column and, and stops it from doing that kind of shuddering thing where you're descending down into your own column of air that's already being shoved down by the rotors. Now the other one is uh, maybe not really a safety issue, but maybe it is. If you're flying in Thailand, you live there, you're going there for vacation, you can now use 5.8 gigahertz uh, in the Wi-Fi spectrum as opposed to just 2.4. Now why do I call that a safety issue? That's a safety issue because if you lose control of your aircraft, well, what's going to happen with that aircraft. You you don't know what's going to happen with it. So uh, if you're in an area that you can use the best spectrum available, then that is the best thing for it, right? So uh, good on DJI for improving the capabilities in Thailand. Now let's talk about a few items that could potentially affect the video and or picture images. They've fixed an issue with ghosting in photos. So I haven't seen that one in particular. I'm not sure exactly what the behavior is, but I'm sure some of you guys have. If you have an example, leave me a link to one down below so other people can see it, and they can look out for it to see if uh, once they install this update, whether it does fix their issues or not. Now, a couple of other issues they fixed that could affect your image quality, especially in video, is they fixed an issue where the gimbal can drift when the aircraft's heading changes. So when you're doing a yaw, you're turning left or you're turning right, you're changing the heading of it, the uh, gimbal would drift extra and uh, so that could affect the quality of your images as well. The other one that could affect your images is that they fixed an issue where the aircraft would shake during active track. So that has the, the potential to be upsetting the camera and uh, make it so that your images may not be as good as they could be. Now the last item I think that is really related to taking pictures and photos and could potentially affect your images is that they fixed an issue of video lag when the aircraft's heading changes. Now I'm not sure if this is actually something that will show up in the video, the end video while you're recording. I'm not, I don't think so. I think what they're talking about is the, the live video feed back to your phone. I think that's what they're talking about. I, and I think that I've seen that as well is when you're kind of out at a, a, a not real close and you have kind of a slight uh, signal issue, it's not the, the strongest signal, then you can see when you're turning that the it kind of starts lagging. And so you kind of don't get the, the live view quite like it should be. So hopefully they fix that. They've also fixed some kind of more general issues with the Mavic Air overall with this firmware update. 
Uh, one of those would be that they fixed an issue where the remote controller was unable to link with the aircraft when operating in some regions. So I'm not sure exactly what the case was there, what specific regions were having problems, but you know that I'm sure that can be a frustrating issue if you're in one of those regions and you have that problem. So they've also fixed an issue when you're in sport mode or in A-pass mode where panoramas just wouldn't work. And they've also fixed an issue with panoramas where if it didn't work, and this is also for the asteroid quick shot as well, because it does a panorama in there uh, in addition to the video, it also does the panorama. But for those, if, if the panorama fails, then you'll actually get an error message on the screen instead of it just not working and not getting any sort of a message. And then the last item they have in the list is that they've fixed an issue where the flight battery firmware would not be updated when functioning abnormally. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but you know, if you have to upgrade your firmware, then you certainly want to be able to update your firmware. So that sounds like it could be important as well. So overall, it sounds like these are uh, largely issues that uh, uh, probably a lot of us are, are potentially running into. And uh, I think that this is going to be one of those firmware upgrades that I think uh, most people are gonna be recommended to go ahead and update. I know some of you guys are, are cautious about updating and uh, if it doesn't uh, fix something that affects you, then uh, it uh, may not be worth installing. But it seems to me like these are issues that are probably going to be affecting a good chunk of users out there. So I think the chances that you're gonna want to install this are probably very likely. If you're a cautious person, maybe you wanna wait around and watch the, uh, the DJI forum or uh, Facebook group Groups to see kind of what the experience is. Uh, so really the question for you guys is, uh, you know, have you installed it? If you have, what's your experience with it? Is it working? Is it not working? Are you, are you uh, seeing issues being resolved or is it just introducing more issues? Now having said that, there is something if you do decide to install it, uh, make sure that you take a note of your settings that you have in DJI Go 4 uh, before you actually do the update because it actually will wipe out some of your settings like return to home and max distance and all of your camera settings and that kind of stuff. So if those things are important to you, make sure and jot those down before you do the update. And of course, if you run into any problems while you're doing the update via either DJI Assistant 2 or DJI Go 4, they say shut everything down and give it another try. So shut the aircraft down, shut the remote control down, and shut the uh, application down as well. So if you're using your phone or your tablet, DJI Go 4, completely kill that off, as well as uh, if you're doing it on your computer, uh, close off DJI Assistant 2. All right, guys, so that is the Mavic Air firmware update version 01.00.0300. Hope that was useful for you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like the content that we're putting out there and you're not already subscribed, I'd love to see you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button right next to it. That way YouTube is more likely to let you know when we have posted another video. So hope you guys are having a great day and we will see you on another video very, very soon. All right, take care guys, ciao.